as a kind of parallel story, uh, the music promoter John Giddings, who promotes the Isle of Wight festival, huge festival, like 60,000 people, yep. has offered up a new idea to help battle the pandemic and, of course, help the music industry. So he tweeted... Dear Boris Johnson, we are the music business. We have thousands of skilled people capable of running events and empty theatres, clubs and arenas. Give us a vaccine and we'll work 24 hours a day to sort it. So he's offering up music venues and the people that work in them as locations to administer vaccines. Wow, okay. Now, I spoke to him, which, I mean, if you think about the fact that these places are just empty, sure. may, maybe it's a good idea. I spoke to him earlier today about the idea. It's really easy. I mean, these people are trained and skilled at dealing with the general public. They've worked with these venues every day of their lives and they're used to working God knows what hours and they all want to help and do something. You know, the government are paying people to sit at home doing nothing and they're paying venues to sit empty. Why don't we utilise that the other way around? And as someone that's run these huge music events, how do you feel about the kind of help and the support that you're getting so far? I'm not looking for someone to give me money. I'm looking for something to help. Giving people money just means our children and our children's children are going to be paying for it for the rest of their lives. That doesn't get us anywhere. I want to get back to normal as soon as possible and get people injected. I mean, obviously, we can't do that bit ourselves, but we could set it up the doctors and nurses to do it on a quicker basis i think how urgent is this for you in terms of actually making big live music events happen this summer because there's been talk about if if there's no change by the end of january then the rest of the year is looking very shaky that's one of the opinions that's kind of out no i think we've got i think we've got longer than that but when they say they're going to be doing two million vaccines a week are they is that physically possible with what the system as it is now I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'm just saying there's an army out there that works in the music business that are willing to help. And I'm offering that help if anybody wants it. What kind of numbers are we talking about? What kind of figures do you think uh, you could potentially mobilise that's going to make a real difference? Have you thought about the kind of if this got uh, a warm Yeah, we could do millions across the board. I mean, if you, if you worked in shifts 24 hours a day, I would queue up in the middle of the night to get a vaccine, wouldn't you? You know, if we set up Hammersmith Apollo or the O2 with a proper queuing system and everything to go with it and whisk people in and out, our people could do the paperwork. I'm, I'm just trying to make life easier for everybody and quicker. And holding up with bureaucracy is the worst thing you can possibly do. I want it for the general public to be safe to come to a festival. I don't want someone to give me a load of money not to do a show. Who does that help? You know, we're talking June being six months out when in December they were testing truck drivers at Dover and giving them results within 20 minutes. You can't tell me that within the next six months they're not going to make it a lot quicker. You know, if only half the audience are vaccinated, you can test the other on entry. All, all I want is to help achieve it. I want to be proactive, not reactive. I don't want to sit here and wait for someone to tell me what to do. I want to offer our services. I don't need to call everybody in the music business and say, do you think this is a good idea? I know they will think it's a good idea, judging by the emails and texts I've got supporting the idea. There you have it. Interesting idea. Yeah, sure. I mean, the Isle of Wight, along with a few festivals, I mean, the Isle of Wight's still scheduled to play place 70 till the 20th of June, um, you know, are, are still incredibly optimistic about, you know, their chances of, of, of being open and putting their music on because I think that which is also as we talked about a really important thing to kind of have that momentum and positivity you know it's that's that's a really healthy thing